Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KeepAgile.com out here for Throwback Thursday, another episode of the Float Tape series. And we're picking up where we left off, kind of mid-December 2001. We're up north in between Lashkargah and Kandahar. We have pretty much finished our mission as far as providing security at night for essentially a bunch of mobile elements. And it's time to hop on a helo and head back. Meanwhile, they're gonna go forward and actually take over Kandahar Airfield. From then on, it will be a, and continue to be a strategic position of basically all follow-on forces into the country and actually is still in use today. As soon as we get back, the fun begins. We end up basically going back and forth with, can we put our tents up? You can take them back down. It starts raining. Okay, you can put your tents up. It stops raining, take them down. Definitely a morale killer. That's about all I can say right now, because we just set up our tent. You got a camera? We just set up our tent and... Now we got fucked. Now we got fucked. And have to take it down. Ooh, uh, for re-enlistment, re-enlistment. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna throw in the towel because my life ain't shit. I'm Put up your tents. Take down your tents. Put up your tents. Take down your tents. <laughs> Who passed this word in the beginning anyway? Lieutenant. Oh, I was over really? there when the lieutenant said, hey, fun, go put up your tents. I'm glad I didn't bring anything down like Sergeant Loomis. <laughs> Christmas came early. We finally set up our tents, and uh, now we just decided to dash morale a little bit more. Take them down. It's pretty cool, though, because, I mean, if it wasn't the molly pack that sealed the deal, it'd have to be this incident. Well, if it wasn't this, the molly pack, or the little mobility hike we went on. So. Oh, yeah. Stay green. Don't worry, the common will be here on the 19th to re-enlist people. Er. I'll be first in line to re-enlist. We continue with the monotony of sitting in a hole and staring out at the desert. Irony. Right here, Doc Ramos ends up getting promoted. Kind of cool. Do that out on the field. And turn. Hike. From commanding officer, Talent Land Team 1 1, 2, Agent Jose Ramos Dominguez. Subject, authority to assume the title and wear the uniform of third class hospital corpsman. Under reference, you are hereby authorized to assume the title and wear the uniform. And then Burden ends up re enlisting out there. Honorable discharge from the Armed Forces of the United States of America. This is to certify that Cal Burden was honorable discharge from the United States Marine Corps on the 16th day of December 2001. This certificate is awarded as a testimonial of honest and faithful service. Signed, CM Board, United States Marine Corps Commanding. I'm pretty sure Sergeant Holt put on Staff Sergeant out there too, but I apparently don't have any footage of it. Can't remember why. I think one of the units maybe found a cache somewhere, but 
EOD decided to go detonate some stuff. Whoa, shit, you got it? Oh, there's another one they said. I'm gonna time the next one. That was ours! Oh! That's a big old explosion. Wonder what explosion has a lot of C4 and stuff like that. And here we have Lance Culper Curtis relaying all the details of amazing foot patrol out in Afghanistan. Last night, had a patrol, what was the date? Sunday the 16th. Sunday the 16th of December. Where were you? We were in the stand. We are in the stand. Had a long, long, long patrol. Got driv out, driven out of friendly lines, nine of us, including a Crip Kicker 5. Got driven out about 15, 20 minutes by Humvee. Dropped off in a dry lake bed. Not out of the truck, heading towards our first of seven checkpoints. Hadn't been out of the truck maybe seven or eight minutes. Rain in the desert. It was cold. It was good. Well, here our first checkpoint. And then uh, you see a light and the IR spectrum. Figure, holy shit, we might have some vehicles or something out here. So, what do good Marines do? We go blow vehicles up. Well, we get online. Get online. Get online. Get online. Start to assault them towards this light. After about, I don't know, click and a half or so, <laughs> uh, someone discovers that it, it's probably the, you guys got some finos? the, uh, oh, damn, it's probably the uh, air plate, uh, airplane facility here that we call a uh, Rhino. Well then, by the time we figured that off, we were clicking a half off course. So we had to go to the next checkpoint, it was maybe two clicks away. Proceeding, proceeding. Hadn't been raining too much. Second well, flood. now every time we stop, it starts raining. Now the wind's kicking up a little. Hit, uh, I think, I believe checkpoint two. Turned it towards checkpoint three, directly into the wind. Awesome. And of course, our comm went down because we had a radio from uh, squad. Vietnam, Prick 119. It, really didn't matter because we didn't need close air support. <sighs> Who needs it? It's overrated. So, three to four, uneventful, just pretty much miserable. This whole, uh, about, about, about seven clicks into it. What about the amazing bush monsters that uh... Oh, oh, good to go. Nice little tactical security halt, everyone plops down. Little hasty 360. Quiet for a minute, getting the eyes on, ears on in the valley. Making sure nobody's following us. And uh, Corporal Brown and Echo 3 McNeil. We got movement on the crest! We got movement on the crest! Holy shit, everyone. what the hell's going on? Everyone gets out there. I, I think it's camels. Not only was it not camels, it was a bush that wasn't moving anywhere. Err. Hurrah Cobra Brown. Hurrah Lance Cobra McNeil. Oh, we continue on. We've been all about, oh, I don't know, nine hours or so by now. We've got this thing called Stand 2. It goes at about 1300 Zulu. 
The thing is, no matter how quick we're done. Zero one. Zero. Oh. Oh. As I was. Zero one. No matter how quick you get done, you can't re-enter line until everyone's awake. So we get to our last checkpoint, and some geniuses decide to put our last checkpoint about six clicks away, seven clicks away from friendly lines. Oh, you made this checkpoint start? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so some jackass decided <laughs> to put our last checkpoint seven clicks away. Oh, now we've, we finally managed to get calm, I think with battalion. We're giving every click we stop and give a tell them, you know, we're on our way in. One click, one click. Managed to run into some quicksand type sand. Nearly killed me. Seriously, nearly killed me. I, I, I nearly died. Anyway, <laughs> it's still a little windy, it's still a little rainy. Finally, we've been out for like 13 hours. We made it just, uh, Run into some concertina wire, couldn't quite figure out how to get into friendly lines. I said, fuck it, we'll just crush it. So we crushed it, got into friendly lines, and walked back here, went to sleep for about an hour and a half, and then we had a platoon formation to go to. Urgh. And I haven't been asleep since. Yeah. That right there wraps up this episode of the Float Tape series. Be sure to join us next time as we continue that journey out there mid-December 2001 in Afghanistan. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.